Now, next tonight, a protest is taking place in Leicester City this evening uh, against Zero Hours contracts. Yeah, the action, which is outside McDonald's, has been organised by the Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union and it's been planned to coincide with International Fast Food Workers Day. Well, Amy Harris is in the city centre city centre for us now and can tell us more. Amy. Yes, good evening to you from Leicester City Centre, where the demonstration is just about still underway. At its height, around 20 to 30 people were here, and they're fighting for fast food workers' rights. Those here say they're hungry for justice. Uh, George Atwell is from the Baker's Food and Allied Workers' Union. Uh, George, just tell me what this protest is all about. The protest is about what called zero-hour contracts and fast food workers' rights. Today is a, a national demonstration, and what are called there's 30 countries taking part today. And I mean, this isn't just about McDonald's, is it? Uh, many employers in all areas use zero hours contracts. Yeah, there's many employees, hospitalities, hotel workers, bars, fast food chains, restaurants. They're all probably what, using zero hour contracts. There's over a million zero hour contracts at present moment in this country. And what's the problem with them? I think it's unfair where workers are not getting proper hours at work. They have to wait at home what call, on the back of a phone so they can be called into work. They probably get two hours one day, six hours the other days. They're not guaranteed hours. I mean, coming back to McDonald's, they've told us, and I quote, they pride themselves on being a flexible employer and their contracts reflect this. Some businesses don't know how many workers they want and for how long. Uh, why should they be banned from flexible working? The workers for our members are demanding what are called full working hours part-time hours or what are called 40 hours, 39 hour contracts where they've got, they've got, they can pay their mortgages, rents and various things. With a zero hour contract, they're not guaranteeing the hours. Okay, George, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Well, they've been petitioning here today, trying to get as many people on board as possible. And they're fighting, as, as we heard there, for £10 minimum wage and the end to zero hours contracts. They say they won't give up until those in charge listen. Amy Harrison-Lester, thank you. Georging East Midlands today here on the BBC. And a